Line Heart 84 and I've got what well, I can only say is an horrendous <laughs> job ahead of me today. I've got a friend who's going to come and help, um, who's a landscape gardener. My parents have asked me, you can see some of the work we've done already, my parents have asked me to try and tidy up their very old apple trees that probably haven't been pruned for 20 years. Um, you can see the frightening state of this, um, obviously it's got a lot of lichen on the branches, that's not really a problem, and it, 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 when you look at it here you think all oh, the plant looks like it's dead, but in actual fact you can see it's coming out into bud now, these will be flower buds on here, but this has got years and years of branches that are all cutting over crossing over each other and uh, there's no air in the tree I mean it, it, you, these should never be let uh, allowed to get like this this should have been these should be pruned every couple of years I mean the amount of branches on it just beggars belief and what they've asked me to do uh, my friend's not here at the moment what they've asked me to do is probably take out 50% of the branches and obviously we'll take out any dead growth now I'm not going to go into whether this is a tip bearing or a spur spur bearing tree because they should be pruned slightly differently because you need to encourage flower buds for next year but to be honest it's so far gone it really needs just to have a vast amount of growth taken out to help with um, whether it's tip bearing or spur pruning uh, bearing it looks to me like this is a a spur bearing tree so what you normally do you would normally prune them to encourage spurs to develop for next year but to be honest there's so much on this tree it's gone far beyond that state now I can't um, I can't film it as I'm going along because I'm using just got my camera phone today and obviously I'm gonna have to try and uh, it's going to need some pretty hefty loppers and saws to get a lot of this growth out but I'm hoping what I'll do is I'll come back and do a video um, when it's finished and, and I will be concentrating and getting rid of much of the entangled growth, dead growth um, but obviously I will also attempt to leave them some fruiting spurs so I'm not going to cut this one off for example because I'd like to get some fruits this year these ones here I might just take off some of these tips to thin them down this one could be taken back because it hasn't it's got it's got a flower bud forming here so what I'll probably do is take it back to here um, this, this, this branch looks fairly dead so I'll probably as there's two branches on there I'll probably take it out but this is literally just scratching the surface there's loads of branches here that are crossing over here you can probably see it going under other branches and they've all got to come out so um but i can't show the process because it would take a very very long time to do and i need a stand to do it so i'll come back when i've done some of the trees so you can have a look okay so here we are on the second part of the video this is the same tree after uh, substantially thinning it out really notice the, uh, the difference on it and what I've done is I've still retained a large number of the flower buds which are here on these fruiting spurs but basically we thinned the whole inside of the tree out and um, should be plenty of flower buds on it but now we've got rid of dead growth crossing over branches, not all of them, there's one or two that still cross over a bit but to be honest it's not easy to get rid of them without sort of spoiling the shape of the tree because it's got a nice character to it but um, just thought you'd be interested to see, I've used a mixture of um, pruning saw to do the bigger branches for all round here, I've used a pruning saw on the bigger ones and then the, uh, just to cut them off reasonably tidily and then the smaller ones uh, we can just take off with uh, loppers and then the very small ones have obviously been taken off with, um, with just pruning shears but I thought you'd be interested to see how that's, uh, how that's worked out um, obviously you should see a difference between the first part of the video and the second bit that's an apple tree of some sort I think it's a James Grieve I'm not too sure because my parents when they moved here did buy about 
four or five apple trees for this area um, but we've lost the labels 30 35 years ago this tree's probably been in for uh, between 35 and 40 years so um, it's a fair old size now I think my father bought half what they call half standards anyway thanks for watching the video I hope that's useful seeing how to um, not so much watching me doing but seeing how I'm thin I've thinned out an apple tree that's not been pruned for at least 20 years so it really needed revitalizing and the air should get into the middle of the tree and um, probably it'll produce still produce a reasonable amount of fruits this year it had a lot on it last year and um, should be a better size than last year as well because obviously with less flowers on it means it'll put more energy into new growth and the and the few the fewer apples are on it so please give me a thumbs up um, obviously uh, you can share the video if you think it's useful to anybody please subscribe to my channel and remember to uh, click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos when they come out which um, I'll probably do a video later late summer to see how this is done I'll catch up with you on the next video Brett out for now